Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is make sure you cleanse the space and also take a shower before you do your spiritual bath. And after you have cleaned everything, you run your bath water using a soap or a uh, body wash that will create some nice big suds and that has cleansing properties. I'm using mala beads because I'm going to be chanting. You don't have to use beads if you don't have them. You can just chant out loud, but this helps keep track and make sure I'm chanting 108 times. I'm using all white candles to represent purity. As you can see, I have them on two corners. I also have white towels. The towel that I dried off with was white. And then make sure you have some luxurious oils um, to rub on your body afterwards. I also use oils on my mala beads. You also will want to get some sort of salt scrub. I made mine with pink Himalayan salt, geranium oil, and lemon oil. You just drop about 10 drops of each oil into the salt, mix it together with a wooden spoon or something, and uh, seal it tight and let it sit for about a day before it's ready to use. Okay, you guys, so I just finished my bath. Um, I feel really good. And I've never done a bath. Well, I have before, but it wasn't like this um, extravagant. You know, I lit the candles. I meditated. I had my music on. And I really had an intention before when I did a cleansing bath. It was just um, with salt. But I feel really good. And... Um, I just wanted to talk really quickly about the purpose. It's symbolic. Um, this whole process is symbolic of, you know, my intention. My intention is to release anything that no longer serves me. And that's people, feelings, things. I mean, anything. Anything that no longer serves me is gone um, as of tonight. And if you're going to do a spiritual bath, I recommend you do the same thing have an intention set your intention what I did to start I set my intention before I got into the water and as I was lighting my candles and then um, with the salt as you're rubbing it all over your body you also want to speak to your body and speak to yourself and set intentions for what you're doing you know scrubbing everything whatever you are trying to let go of let's say you have some trauma that you need to release let's say you have some people you need to release, you need to forgive yourself for uh, maybe intimacy with the wrong person, uh, the desire for, you know, sexual desire that you don't need to have, you know, for, unless it's for the right person, um, overeating, weight, uh, bad, like whatever, you set your intention as you are rubbing your body and scrubbing your body. For me, it was symbolic of, you know, just rubbing and scrubbing it off and away from my body and it going into the water of course which then goes down the drain i'll talk about that in a second but the candles white or red or pink i would say to represent purity is white and then pink or red to represent love self-love i almost lit a pink candle but this is just all about purity you know purity cleanliness and all that stuff um the soap that i use let me show you really quickly it's that Mr. Oh, I'm sorry, Dr. Teal's. It's a foaming detox and energy um, ginger and clay. Um, that's even symbolic, you know, um, detoxing the body. So use a soap like that. That is uh, symbolic for what you're doing. What else? Water, you know, use look up, you know, water and how that's symbolic of you know cleanliness and washing away what else oils make sure you have some luxurious oils to sniff so i created my my um scrub with good oils but then i'm also i adorned my body with this oil i used this um goddess oud for meditation on my beads i rub a little bit on my fingers and then you know you know you meditate with the beads by whatever your mantra is um, on the meditation. I did a Sanskrit Bija sound meditation. Um, 
108 times and before then I put a little bit of this goddess of oud oil onto my fingertips rubbed it in smelled it and yeah after I was done I rubbed my body down with coconut oil and then um, adorned my body with a little bit of this um, oud of heaven and you know you close out your meditation you know give thanks to your ancestors, your spirit guide, whomever, you know. And then, you know, you relax the rest of the evening. So I'm going to go make a little something something. I'm also going to get some tea and I'm going to relax for the rest of the night. I hope that you enjoyed this little part of my detox. I will see you later. Bye. Today.